Alright guys, here we go. We are in the divisional round of the playoffs. After defeating the Packers in our last game, we are taking on the New Orleans Saints, who were 12-4 in the regular season. Drew Brees with over 4,500 yards on the season. Big numbers by Drew Brees. Marcus Colston, their number one right wide receiver that they're throwing to with over 1,200 yards, almost 100 receptions on the season. So I got to look out for him. Jonathan Vilma, he was the leaning tackler in the NFL this year. So they got a powerful offense. They got a powerful defense. It's going to be a tough game. Tracy Porter with the most interceptions, but he is injured and out. And I'll go to this right away. He's out for five weeks. And uh, they also have a number of people, uh, a rookie, Johnny Patrick, who I'm not too sure who that is. Uh, a lot of people uh, placed on the injured reserve, but they weren't that uh, key to the Saints team. Anyways, we're in the Superdome for this game since they have home field advantage since they had a bye in the wild card uh, weekend. So here we go about halfway into the fourth. Drew Brees undercomes some pressure from Cliff Averill as he gets brought down uh, almost for a sack there. And then on our next drive, Javid Best taking it up for a low gain, and Stafford gets hit from the side on the cornerback. Blitz on that one, and now third and four. Stafford looking over the middle. There's Brandon Pettigrew for the first down on the play there, but we would have to end up punting that one away. Now Breeze looking over the middle for Lance Moore on their next drive, and they are pushing that up for a first down. And now Breeze play action before he can even say anything. DeAndre Levy is in the backfield for the sack. And now on our third down, we missed the screen pass to Best on that one. I don't know what happened there exactly. Might have been a miscommunication. But Breeze looking over the middle for Lance Moore once again for the first down. Cliff Averill getting the backfield and taking down Darren Sproles as Eric Coleman on that one. Going to the running game once again. It is stripped by Averill. And Tullock picks it up. So we got a turnover right there with the fumble. And we got the ball. And now Stafford looking to do some damage. Rolling out right. Throwing on the run. It's Calvin Johnson with the catch. The cornerback had was nowhere to be seen on that one. And he ends up taking that in for a touchdown. As Best taking that up. Almost gets the first down on that one. So we're going play action. Wide open Tim Toon taking it up. Some yards after the carry on that pass by Stafford. Now Best taking it up the middle off the draw. He takes that one up for another first down. Nice run by Best. Now Stafford in the shotgun once again. Looking over the middle. It's Tim Toon once again on this drive. He reels it in for the touchdown. We are up 14 to nothing. And now Stafford, he had two men open on the flats, but he gets the sack because he was looking deep for a first down. Burleson over the middle on that one, but we are on third and 24, so that ain't going to do it. We have to punt that one away. Now Drew Brees going deep with a little time left in the second quarter. That's picked off by Chris Houston on that one just to pad some stats. That didn't really do any damage. Now, we hit Javid Best on the side right there for the first down. Now it's second and four. Going with the run game. Best makes a nice cut to bring it up for the first down. Now third and four. Safford dropping back. Hailing it up deep to Calvin Johnson who makes the catch. He's going big this game. It's the playoffs. He's our number one receiver. He's got to go big. Now Stafford looking but he couldn't find anyone open right there. Brought down by Ellis. We are going to tack on a field goal. And now Sproles with only one man to beat Coleman it is. Coleman does end up catching him. But Sproles still with a huge gain on that one. And now little time left in the third. Drew Brees rolling. Good protection. Finds Marcus Colston. Haven't seen much of him in this game. But here he is once again getting the catch over the middle. Trying to get the fumble to go. But Colston holds on. So now they're looking to get into the red zone. Breeze with tons of time. Looking to the right. That's one's going to be reeled in by Colston. Once again, three catches on the row right there. Now Breeze in the red zone. He's going to be throwing up a prayer, which is almost going to be intercepted. Luckily, it wasn't on that one, or else that would have been costly for the Saints. Now they're going to the run game. Sproles doesn't get much on that one. They got four yards to the goal, and it's third down, and they find... Henderson in the back of the end zone on that one. So they're going to have to do an onside kick here 
to get it back to make some points back but Pettigrew grabs that one so they ain't gonna get that onside kick but there is still four minutes left and we gotta punt this one away and uh, our punter does a very good job of getting that in right in the corner coffin corner punt six yard line they gotta make some big yardage up very fast as the blitz comes but he gets it off to Jimmy Graham who takes it up so it's second and one breeze in the shotgun once again looking for Lance Moore who he finds and that's going to be a first down for the Saints. They're starting to make a drive of this. And then he finds Henderson, who's wide open. Open field in front of him. The 10. And he's in for the touchdown. So it's going to be a 17-14 to 14 game. It's our ball with two minutes left. We're going to the run game. Best taking it up off the draw for seven yards. Now third and one. Best. We're giving it to him once again. But he gets stopped right at the line. But there is a holding play on us anyways so now we get one more chance on third down what are we gonna make of it Stafford waiting for it he had an open best for a while there that could have got us a first down but he ends up throwing that away so now it's Saints ball and he finds Robert Meacham over the left side of the field it's second and six so they're gonna be hurrying it up with only one timeout left and they gotta get him with in field goal range within a minute Drew Brees scrambling right here he gets taken down by Tulloch who almost gets the ball out of Breeze's hands, but luckily, Breeze holds on to that one. Now they're going the shotgun. Hurry up once again. Breeze dropping back. Good protection. Looks and throws it up for Lance Moore, who's going to bring it in all the way to our red zone on the 16 yard line. So we got to make a stand. They might get a touchdown, let alone that field goal. And they're looking end zone. Wright almost picks that one off. That would have been huge by Wright. But it doesn't happen. And then he finds Robert Meacham once again, this time on the right side. But they're going to have to settle for a field goal. So here it is. The kick is up. And it is good, of course, from 12 years out. That's a chip shot. And now we got 20 seconds left. And we're going to try to make something of it. At least get down the field so we can have a shot at a field goal. Stafford not finding anybody open, though. He finally finds Tim Toon, who makes a jumping effort catches that one we got 16 seconds left we got to go deep but we try to go to best who drops the ball shouldn't ate that popcorn best and now Stafford dropping back he's gonna be looking deep for this one it is up but nobody comes down with it so now we're gonna have one last shot at going deep and Stafford's gonna roll it to his left throw it deep for Calvin Johnson who reels it in but there's a flag on the play holding on us time has expired anyways so that wouldn't have made anything happen for us so we are going to overtime where Stafford finds Maurice Stovall over the middle for a gain of 12 yards on that one now Stafford dropping back looking over the middle once again for Stovall who he finds for the first down now Stafford still in shotgun we're working that shotgun well he's going deep but Robinson picks that one off Calvin Johnson couldn't get the ball pulled in or else that would have been sure win for the Lions now they're going to Sproles, who takes it up there for an 8-yard gain. And they're starting to make a drive. Breeze in the shotgun. Tons of time. But Cliff Averill is laying in the weeds, waiting for Breeze to come out. As soon as he does, he pounces on him. But Breeze is able to pull in the first down on that one. So three minutes left in overtime. Breeze looking for Jimmy Graham, who he finds. It's going to be third and three on this one, so we can shut him down. Get the ball back and make our own drive on this one. Breeze in the shotgun. Tons of time. Throws a high ball up and Lance Moore gets hands on it, but he gets hit hard, so he drops the ball. And now Stafford, we're trying to make a play. It's batted down, though, on that pass. And Stafford, once again, dropping back. He's got good protection this time. Brandon Pettigrew over the middle, who's going to be pulling that one in for a big gain. And we got first down, and now Stafford once again to Brandon Pettigrew, who pulls in another first down. He's going clutch at the moment. And now throwing it deep. Who's going to come down with it? Nobody. It is bobbed around a bit, but nobody ends up putting some hands on it and catching that ball. Now Stafford looking over the middle. Calvin Johnson on third down catches that for the first down. And then a wide open Maurice Stovall is wide open. Uh, they must have sent a blitz thinking run plays were coming because we're in field goal territory. But I went with the pass and it prevailed. 
as we get the Gatorade bath on our coach and Matthew Stafford with a huge gain. 340 yards with three touchdowns, one interception. We're going to be comparing quarterbacks. Drew Brees with an 88.7 rating, 15 for 29. And uh, he's going to be throwing two TDs this game. Both quarterbacks with one interception. And Stafford had one touchdown, like I said. Running game wasn't that relevant in this game. Best with 18 attempts on 51 yards and Sproles with 10 attempts on 50 yards, so nothing big there. Calvin Johnson getting the bulk with 154 yards on four receptions, and uh, he's going to have one touchdown. Henderson got two touchdowns for the Saints, and Stovall and Toon got one each for us as well. And now going on to defense, interceptions, Houston gets one, and Patrick Robinson gets the other and that's going to be it guys we are moving on in the playoffs to the conference championship and i will see you guys there